Hey everyone, uh, it's Darcy from my 3 and I have a super easy and fast tutorial today um, about fixing color casting and uh, color temperature using a combination of Adobe Bridge and Adobe ACR. Adobe ACR is Adobe Camera Raw and um, while these changes can be done using Lightroom, Lightroom is a fantastic tool to make these changes, um, but it's um, usually between $100 and $300 investment to buy Lightroom. And Adobe Camera Raw um, and Bridge often come packaged with the purchase of Photoshop. So if you own Photoshop already, you might already own those tools, so I can show you how to do it without needing to buy Lightroom in addition to Photoshop. Okay, so, um, this is the image that we're working with right here and um, this gorgeous senior was posed underneath this tree and even though we did custom white balance and had balanced her um, for the color of her shirt because she's standing underneath all of these bright yellow fall leaves it is creating a color cast on her skin and making her skin I'll show you um, look very very yellow and um, that's not her natural skin tone so what we need to do is we need to correct for the color casting um, that these leaves are 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 making on her skin okay so using ACR and I'm in bridge right now this is Adobe bridge Adobe bridge is simply um, a file folder and um, all you need to do is select the image right click on it click on open in camera raw and it will bring up this um, dialog box right here and it talks about um, Adobe Camera Raw and there's all sorts of options that you can do with this um, but the one that we're going to focus on right over here is white balance and exposure um, this white balance right now currently it says as shot and when you pull it up the default will usually be as as shot there are several other options that you can um, you can work at work in just by choosing for example auto or daylight or cloudy tungsten etc but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a custom one and the way that we do that is by using these sliders here we simply grab it with the cursor and you pull it back until the skin starts to look uh, about the way it did in person so that might be a little too far we want a little bit of warmth on our skin um, but we certainly don't want the the yellow leaves to color cast and then we go, can go ahead and pull this back. Also here in ACR is a really great time to try the recovery. Um, recovery is an attempt to pull back the um, overexposed highlights right here in the leaves. And so we can see if it'll help just a little bit. And usually when you blow up pixels like that, there's really not too much that can be recovered. So you can try. Um, fill light is a great way to add in some, some light in the midtones and bring this uh, cream color shirt sort of back to normal the way it looked when you when we saw her in person and we can bump up the exposure just a just just a hair here gosh not even yeah about like that um, so there you go this is a very very simple way just to fix color casting and um, if I slide this over you can see how it looks now compared to uh, how it looked before we tried to fix it. If you want to save this image, go ahead and click save here. A pop-up will open with your folders and you can decide which folder you want to save it in. Um, alternatively, if you want to go right to Photoshop, if you go ahead and click here and hit open image, Photoshop will open. And the changes that you made in ACR will be brought with it. So now there's so very little editing left to do because you made um, all of the big changes right there um, in ACR. So um, come back, I'm going to try to show you another way that you can batch process um, changes uh, using ACR as well. All right, thanks so much. Have a good day.